How's everybody doing? So my last update that I showed, I got a new vehicle, which is the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. And I had a couple questions on where do I keep things at? So specifically, right now, I am in transit of changing bases for the military. So I have about 2,500 miles I have to travel from one state all the way across the country to another state. So since I just got this, it's not really outfitted to what I like. So say like get home bag and other gear and items that I like to keep on me when traveling. So I was gonna kind of show what I do as a temporary type of setup. And also if you're interested, uh, I'm towing actually a trailer. This is not gonna be too much in the video, but this is a uh, trailer, probably weighs about 3,500 pounds but I'm actually towing it with a Gladiator in another video coming up. I'm actually going to talk about how does this V6, this 3.6 Pentastar tow, because it's rated to 7,000 pounds, and I'll have another video on that because a lot of people are interested. But specifically, so I want to get a cap on, on the back of here. I'm kind of researching. They're very expensive, but I want something, you know, go over the back and it'll enclose it in so I can keep things in the back. Obviously, you can see right here I like the uh, Pelican cases. This is a 1660 or a 1650 case. These are really nice. I prefer these. As you can see, I have the cables off right now, but that's how I kind of secure it to the back of the truck going through the loops back here, which each truck has like tie down spots and stuff like that. I also carry fuel back here just because I'm moving far distance. I want to have just a little bit of extra just in case. But right now I'm just using this. My previous Jeep, I used to have a Wrangler, and if you re research the uh, video, I'll put it in the description below how I secured my items and stuff like that. It was a completely different setup than this, and I really liked the old setup, but I needed a truck bed and I wanted to keep a Jeep, so I guess this was the best way to do it. So like I was saying, the Pelican cases. So this, I'm gonna get into this on the second part. Same video, just second section, let's get in here. So how I have it set up right now, it's obviously really messy in here because I'm actually utilizing it traveling across the country. But this is what I use to keep a lot of my stuff in, like a uh, get home bag and personal defense weapon and stuff like that. Or a truck gun is what some people call it. So right now, this is just a storm case. I think it is really kind of a knockoff or pretty much the same thing as a Pelican. They're doing it. They have a little bit different latch system, but these have held up really well. As you can see how beat up they are because I've had them for years and they work really well. So what's kind of nice is, let's get, my, let's get some clothes back here, but they have these kind of connection points in for when the seats are up and that's what I looped a just a common like bicycle cable through with a uh, lock and I just lock it through here so no one can like take this full thing out. I mean obviously if you had tools, yeah you could do it, but it just makes it a little bit more difficult for people to get out. So, let me get this stuff out of here and I'll show you what's inside. Lift it up. All right. So, immediately on top is the get home bag, right? So, if you haven't seen what my get home bag is, it's fairly extensive, but I'll put a link in the description below. It's an awesome video, at least I think so. Uh, very in detail about stuff. But this is right now how it rides. I got to kind of cram it in here really well because... It's a little bit bigger, but alongside it, as you can see down here, is my AR pistol. So this is fully set up for reasonably night vision use. Let me pull my, I have a small chest rig, I'll go over about that. But right now it has a PEC-15 and, you know, all that fun stuff, all, along with a suppressor mount, which my suppressor rides right here, and it's set up right now for a quick detach on the AR. By the way, this is a Silencer Co. hybrid, so this will do from 22s all the way up to 338 Lapua Magnum, and pretty much every caliber in between if you get the right setup. So awesome suppressor. I'm going to have some videos coming out on that and the AR. If you want to see, piece together what everything about this AR, I'll put, put my uh, video that I discussed everything in it as well. Hill People Gear chest rig. This is where my Glock 19, one of them lives. This is my bug out Glock 19 or my get home bag Glock 19 and it just 
rides in here or depending i can put a 10 millimeter in there blah 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 you do the whole whole shebang you know whatnot but three round or three ar mags are in here as well that's where they ride this is a kelty coyote 65 i really like this pack upgraded i originally ran a eagle industries invader 50 really cool bag enjoyed it a lot but i needed more space so i went to a 65 that one was a 50 liter this one is the 65 i carry the actual mag itself right here it is not in the gun because it doesn't stick so i know legality and stuff i'm already aware when i transition through states i gotta be mindful of my concealed carry permit which then you can just separate the ammo and weapons into the trailer or wherever and other locations so that is what i keep up here so that kind of nestles in the seats fold down nestles in there really well so in the back here let me get up in the bed so i can actually show you guys a little bit better sorry about the shaky camera but that's what we got to go with so this is kind of my sustainment kit back here so a lot of these items used to ride in the back of the jeep but of course now i have a bed without a cap so i gotta secure them somehow so you can see there's a ton of food in here and this food actually would reside in my get home bag because i added a lot more food to it but because it is in the get home bag is in one of these cases i can't fit all the food and the get home bag all together in one so there's also a sleeping bag this is a negative 15 degree bag and then I also have a Katoma um, pop tent, which it's a single man tent with a rain fly. By the way, this is a Recon 4 uh, sleeping bag. Thermarest, uh, Z-Lite, I really like these. And there's a couple MREs in here as well. Get this, here's my tools. I have specific tools. The dogs are barking at something, but just a full reasonable kit uh, of tools just for the jeep in itself along with a um, jumper this is a jumper box really nice i think yeah beat it makes these really works out really well actually i've used this extensively quite a bit on many vehicles they're about 80 to 100 bucks and it's completely worth it i also have a full socket set down there and that is pretty much it. Now I also have other tools and a fix it kit actually in the bottom below the seats, but I can't, I really don't want to get to them just right now. There's nothing too fancy in there, just like basic like road flares and like an IFAC and other things like that. Actually the IFAC is up, up closer. But other than that, this is pretty much all that I carry along with, like I said, I have fuel, but for right now, this is my setup. This is going to merge too. This is going to change. I do not like how it's set up right now, and it will change once I get the proper equipment and other items like a cap, like a truck bed back here is going to be a lot better. Let me get down. All right. So that's pretty much how I carry both my weapons get home bag and then other items like vehicle safety kind of stuff because i am going in a northern tier area where it snows a lot so like i said upcoming gonna have video on the trailer and the jeep how it performs so if you guys kind of like this kind of stuff make sure you hit that subscribe button because there's a lot more stuff coming up kind of in a transition um i i'm not getting too much videos out there but soon i will be so if you guys like this, make sure to hit the like, give me a subscription. Hope you all have a great day.